take my advice, brother. You should be out there helping people, like them other fellas downtown. Reba used to say the same thing. Yeah, well, she was right. And now, you Harlem's hero. <laughs> I'm just getting started. Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie. Sweet Christmas comes early. So they dropped all this Luke Cage footage. Let's break it down. So it's a whole bunch of footage, but it's really just meant to show you who these characters are, like who Luke Cage is, who the other characters are, some of the humor of the series, like, ha ha, you know, isn't it funny to see a man with bulletproof skin? I'm getting really sick of having to buy new clothes all the time. There's a whole bunch of Misty Knight, who's kind of like Luke Cage's love interest. They, I mean, there are references to his relationship with Jessica Jones, but the way that Mike Coulter, the actor that plays Luke Cage, described his series is that he has his own stuff, you know, quote unquote, own stuff going on. And that's basically hip hop Game of Thrones up in Harlem. So if you've never been to Harlem, there's this big picture of Biggie painted on the wall with a crown on his head. In the, well, one of the big themes of the series, the showrunner said, is everyone wants to be the king. You get this scene of Stokes just beating the crap out of a character with this painting behind him. And thematically, personally, it's very important to the series and the showrunner. The showrunner himself was one of the last people to interview Biggie before he died. So if you don't remember the East Coast, West Coast of 90s hip hop, that was just a really important thing, you know, everyone wants to be the king. So thematically, that painting and that idea is very important to the series. So even though I'm kind of, you know, tongue in cheek using Game of Thrones to describe Luke Cage, you will see a lot of familiar things. Like Detective Scarf here, he plays Misty Knight's partner on the police force. He's kind of like a little finger character, someone who schemes and plots, you know, somewhat of a dirty cop, but who exists in that morally gray area that enables him to work with the heroes and with the villains. And the funny thing that Jeff Loeb said about the villains of the series is we don't call them villains, we just call them the quote unquote other heroes of the series. Very, you know, very tongue in cheek. But the, the funny thing that they also use to describe it is like binging the 13 episodes is kind of like listening to an album. Harlem itself is very important to the story, the music of that area too. So they called it kind of like the Wu Tangification of the Marvel Universe, which I, th I think is badass. I mean, you've seen Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. You know what a badass he is. So now you're just going to learn about all the other shit that he has going on. Stuff that caused him to have to bail at the end of Jessica Jones. And if it wasn't clear, I know like at the end of the Jessica Jones series, Claire Temple was helping him out. She is also in the Luke Cage series. But the other cool thing too is that like at the end of the teaser, they also showed off some Iron Fist footage. If I can find it, I'll do a separate trailer video. But it was basically just a really quick teaser. Like they posted a Punisher teaser earlier this year after Daredevil Season 3 came out. Like the Punisher will return in his own series. You know, bum bum, you know, big gunshot fireworks go off. John Bernthal himself was at the panel, but he just kind of came for the first little bit to see the big Defenders teaser, say thank you, and then walk off. They, they, they weren't hyping up too much Punisher stuff, but they did confirm that they're working on a Punisher series. Now the clip you see Black Mariah, who's kind of like the Jaren Hogarth of the series. If you remember the role that she played on Jessica Jones, she was, you know, very morally great character, but wielded a lot of authority. Very antagonistic type character. Someone who is a total badass who wields authority through other people. And it all just looks dope as hell. So you guys can let me know, like, what do you think about the footage? What did you think about Luke Cage during Jessica Jones? And now, now that we're getting, like, the deep dive into his Harlem universe. Wu-Tangification of the Marvel Universe. It just sounds so awesome. If you guys didn't know, it's being released September 30th. And it's just like the other Netflix series. It'll all dump at once, 13 episodes. Then in the spring, Iron Fist will drop. And then in the summer, Defenders drops.
But if there are any questions, of course I'm going to be doing videos for it just like I did for Jessica Jones, for Daredevil Season 2, Season 1. You get the idea. But there is a Marvel giveaway that's going on. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. It's just a $20 Amazon gift card. So I'll just remind you guys when I post my Defenders video next. So that should post in a couple hours. So get hype. So while you guys wait for that to post, you can click here for my latest Flash Season 3 teaser video. And you can click here for all my other Comic-Con videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.